My name is Tom Komitani. I was born in Auburn, Washington in 1935. I had uh, two brothers and one sister. And uh, uh, this is the only picture I have of uh, the family in, in Hart Mountain, Wyoming, in the camp. And we, uh, so this is me over here, my uh, brother, young, older brother Ted, and my younger brother George, my sister Dorothy, and my mother is here, uh, and this is one of my aunts. My dad called us together as a family and, and told us about it, that uh, we were going to be sent away. Uh, he didn't know the details or anything, he just knew that uh, we were being sent away because we were, quote, Japanese. Uh, we stayed in Pinedale for about uh, four months and then uh, were shipped up to uh, Tule Lake, California, just below the Oregon border. And that was... Um, uh, Quite a large camp. Uh, it uh, had barbed wire all around, uh, guard towers with machine guns and sentries, uh, armed sentries, uh, and barracks. Uh, and these barracks were very uh, distinctive because they were covered covered with tar paper and held on with these vertical slats. And, and um, uh, there must have been about 12,000 people in this camp. Uh, each barrack was about uh, oh, 90 feet by 20 feet, uh, divided up into uh, about four to five living quarters, depending on you know, the size of the family. Let me be by myself in the evening breeze And listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees Send me off forever, but I ask you please Don't fence me in Just turn me loose, let me straddle my old saddle Underneath the western sky In Two Lake, uh, while we were in Two Lake, we were there about a year, and they decided that uh, uh, they were going to segregate uh, the, quote, disloyal uh, Japanese Americans from the loyal Americans. And uh, they did that on the base, basis of a, uh, a questionnaire. Uh, there are two questions on this, number 27 and 28, and you probably heard about that. 27 asked if you were... Uh, willing to uh, fight for the U.S. Armed Forces. And number 28 asked, do you forswear allegiance to the Emperor of Japan? Well, th those were two uh, very offensive questions for those people in that situation because, uh, uh, you know, they were being asked to serve, to serve and fight for the government, the very government that was locking them up as if they were the enemy. The other question assumed that they were they had some allegiance to the emperor. Well, so a lot of people did answer no, no because they were, you know, these are highly offensive questions. Uh, those people were considered disloyal. I think the consensus was that uh, we were we were on the American side. We were Americans, and I think a lot of people, uh, most people in the camps felt that way. There are several people, I think, that felt that we were placed there illegally and, and uh, that uh, it was wrong. We ended up in uh, Maringo, Illinois, a small town not too far from Chicago, a farm town. And I think uh, those first few years there were probably a lot tougher on me than, than the camp life because after being in camp for over two and a half years, 
to to start to get adjusted to what I thought would be a very hostile environment because uh, the war was still on at that point. This is in October of 44 when we left uh, Heart Mountain. And uh, those, I, I look back and feel that uh, were some of the toughest times for me as a kid. Um, that uh, I still felt that, uh, you know, everybody hated me because, uh, because I'm the enemy. Used to point to me, and kid used to call me Jap, and that used to really hurt because that's always uh, been used as a very derogatory term. In fact, I think it can be said that not one uh, person of Japanese ancestry uh, on the West Coast was ever uh, accused or uh, convicted of spying espionage or third column activities, fourth column, third, fifth column activities, I guess they call it. You know, I'd like to get involved. So I joined the JACL, the Japanese American Citizens League in New York. And uh, it was, uh, it was a, a nationwide effort to, to go for uh, legislation that, that would uh, uh, right this, this injustice. This is like uh, a good 40, or over 40 years after the fact. And the Constitution does allow for citizens to redress, have their redress, uh, grievances redressed. And so the same Constitution really that uh, was ignored when the executive order was signed uh, is the same Constitution that allowed us to, to come back and demand redress. Uh, there was a commission formed, uh, a presidential commission. They call that the uh, uh, Commission on Wartime Relocation and Internment of Civilians. Uh, the commission finally came out with a, a, a conclusion after about three years of study and came out with a, uh, uh, a report that uh, concluded that the internment of Japanese Americans was a grave injustice to Japanese Americans and it was not military necessity uh, but rather it was caused by uh, uh, war hysteria, uh, racism and failure of political leadership. A few years later there was a Congress, congressional bills that were introduced in Congress that uh, did exactly what, what the commission recommended. And there was an effort to pass this through both houses with the eventual uh, signature by the president. We got a lot of civil rights organizations behind us. And so what we thought was essentially uh, uh, an impossible dream to pass something like this finally did pass in uh, 19 uh, 88, October 10th, when Ronald Reagan finally signed the bill after both houses passed their, their versions of the bill. And, you know, it's not just a, a Japanese-American issue at this point. It was a, an American issue. You know, it was a constitutional issue, a civil rights, human rights issue. And, and so uh, even if it, something that happened to uh, a small minority of people, uh, on the West Coast, it had uh, constitutional implications that are the integrity of the Constitution was was really in jeopardy uh, when when our leaders did uh, ignore the Constitution. They ignored their oath of office, which was to preserve and protect the uh, Constitution. And so, I like to feel that uh, for the present. Uh, situation after 9-11 that uh, Arab Americans and Muslim Americans uh, you know felt very nervous that uh, hey is the same thing going to happen to us mm -hmm. that happened to Japanese Americans back in 1942 uh, but we had that precedent of, of uh, congressional legislation redressing our bill with the government admitting they made a mistake and paying reparations so I think that was a lesson that America learned. Uh, 
our politicians learned. And I think our country is much stronger as a result. Our constitution has been uh, restored. Lots of land under starry skies above Don't fence me in Let me ride through the wide open country that I love Don't fence me in Let me be by myself in the evening breeze And listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees Send me off forever, but I ask you, please, don't fence me in. Just turn me loose, let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western sky. On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. the ridge where the west commences and gaze at the moon till I lose my senses and I can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences don't fence me